Coordinate changes are so central to so many different types of applications, ranging from robotics to computer graphics, VR, AR. Let's think about an example that we looked at earlier, namely rotations. But let's think about it now in terms of matrices and linear transformations. Recall the three rotation matrices in 3D for yaw, pitch, and roll, or rotation about the z-axis by an angle alpha, rotation about the y-axis by an angle beta, and rotation about the x-axis by an angle gamma. Now, we got those, that's great. What happens if we put them together? What happens if we first rotate about one axis, then about another, then about the last? What linear transformation affects that? Well, it's the product of these matrices in a particular order. If we do x first, then y, then z, we multiply them together, you can check haha, that we get the following 3x3 three three matrix. I, I don't recommend memorizing this. This is sometimes called a zyx rotation matrix because of the order in which you do these. Remember, the multiplication is written from right to left. So first, I rotate about the x-axis by an angle gamma, then I rotate about the y-axis by an angle beta, then I rotate about the z-axis by an angle alpha. I multiply those matrices in order from right to left. Now, it's a little bit hard to see that in a static picture. It's a little bit better to maybe just pick up your favorite object to swing around and then start rotating it about the three axes in the appropriate order. And what you get in the end, going from start to finish, is a linear transformation that takes you from the beginning to the end. And now you're having a dream. A dream of the future in which we go from linear coordinate transformations to nonlinear coordinates. Things like cylindrical, spherical coordinates, and things beyond that. We will need to know linear coordinate changes very well for doing local analysis of nonlinear coordinates. But don't worry about that, because you're just having a dream.